I don't want some extraneous jar of crystallised violet flowers or orange marmalade with champagne in it. That, that just doesn't do it for me. Whereas I think there's nothing nicer than being given a lovely basket full of foody and whiny and drinky surprises. I think the word she's looking for is epicurean. Staying in Burgundy, because Burgundy really is the place to be at Christmas, is this fantastic Joseph Druin Chory Libo 2009, which is £15.99 at Waitrose, which is a brilliant price. Oh, listen to that. <laughs> now, boy, can you spend so much more than this on Red Burgundy. Yeah. But we think this wine really delivers. Nice to have something to really swirl your wine yeah. around. And what a great reason to get these out. Mm. Oh, lovely savoury. Oh. Really Pinot, 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 isn't it? Yeah, gorgeous. Glorious, glorious nose. It's gentle. It's balanced. It's smooth. Mm. It's making us talk in funny voices. It is. It's making you go, oh, isn't that gorgeous? Just, yeah. You need a hush room for this because this really is. And it's got, it's got lovely acidity. acidity. Um, you know, if you're, if you're trawling through all that, all that food, this is, this is, it's mouthful drink, isn't it? And it would, it'd refresh you. I'm sort of speechless, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't happen. Right? <laughs> no, it doesn't. But, but if this were in my Christmas hamper, I would suddenly be quite interested, I think. Well, out there, there are pretty much anything you can have a hamper these days. Oh, yeah. I mean, for instance, you can go with your bare minimum, minimum of your nice little oil and vinegar basket. Mm. Or, well, Fortnum's, Fortnum and Mason, they have the Imperial Hamper at £5,000, would you believe, which includes the likes of beluga caviar, foie gras with truffles, Riesling ice wine. That's nothing. At Harrods, you can have the Opulence. I know, it comes, it, it comes with so much. It, it's, it has a glass dome to put on top of your Stilton. Of course. Of course. It has a course. magnum, because a bottle wouldn't be enough, a magnum of Chateau Quiquem and a magnum of Rosé Cru and a lot of other stuff besides. I think we could both cope with one of those, couldn't we? Yeah, I could. For our next red, we've got this Marcus de Ruskal uh, Finca Tabea 2007 Rioja. And this one's available from Tesco at 18.99. Now, people love Rioja. So they just do. Uh, and this is about as exciting as Rioja can be, isn't it's it? It's a lovely label. Lovely, lovely label. label. And, and we think it's, it's worth um, every penny of its $18.99. Yeah. yeah. It's a very modern style, isn't it? Mm. A mixture of Tempranillo with uh, Graciano. Now, oh, what a nose. Now, this is French oak, not American oak. So you're not getting the sort of sweet popcorn -y smell. Um, but it's still, it's still got that, a lot of vanilla oh, and gorgeousness. Yeah. That is so inviting when you smell it. And in fact, at, this, at the tasting, the two of us were absolutely blown away mm. with this, weren't we? Lovely and savoury, oh. but it's refreshing and light. Yeah. Now, some of these modern Riocas can be quite blockbustery and hot. Um, this is so in balance. So it's in balance. Just lovely. Perfect for your Christmas meal, yeah. isn't it? Just yeah. gorgeous. Lovely red fruit, lovely, lovely spicy oak. Mm. Just wonderful. And you'd want this if you were cooking something like goose, maybe, or yeah. really majoring on those rich and spicy trimmings with your turkey, or, or having beef or something. Yeah. People, we've had beef for Christmas lunch, and this will be just yeah. gorgeous with it. Yeah. But I think. It's, it's such an attractive bottle. I think it'd make a great Christmas present for a yeah. Rioja lover. I mean, I know so many people I could give that to for Christmas. Yeah. And a lot cheaper than, a, say, an early silk scarf at hmm, 640 smackers. Heck. Far better, we think, to spend your money on this awfully 30 year old tawny. 30 year old tawny. Gorgeous. It's 37.99 at Aldi. And we think that's a damn fine price. Mm. Mm. Nutty, dried so fruity. It just that is that is armchair stuff, isn't it? It is. It's so Christmas that. 
It is. Oh. It's woody, it's it's baked fruit, raisins. I'm, I'm gagging to get them in there. Yeah, no. <laughs> and get my mouth. Get away. <laughs> Sits so beautifully in your mouth, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And yes, back of your throat, a little catch of mm. alcohol. But candied fruit, nutty. It's changing in your mouth oh. all the time, isn't it? It is. It looks it's like you're it. making a Christmas cake. Yes, it's sort of you stir another bit in and it evolves. That's a, a bit of candy peel, there's all sorts of gorgeous things coming around. Oh, yeah. Now, this would be fantastic with cheese after your Christmas lunch. It would. That's. Uh, it would also be okay with Christmas pudding, actually, but yeah. I think cheese is, is where it would major. Or over the festive period when you're coming in from a cold walk mm. and you want to just have a, a glass of something by the fire. Mm. Perfect. It's now, orangey now. I've got orange peel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like a, a sky that ever changes. Yeah. Now it comes in this nice presentation box. That's so back of the box, though, sorry. <laughs> Nice presentation box, which is yeah, very nice for yeah. And it's very pleasant, and yeah. it doesn't have. I know we shouldn't care, but it doesn't have Aldi written all over it. No, it doesn't. Um, no, it doesn't. So you know, if someone you want to spend thirty seven ninety nine, yeah, yeah, yeah. lovely present, yeah. gorgeous. Now, presentation does count for quite a lot at Christmas, doesn't it? You know, you make you make an effort with your decorations. Yeah, you can be a bit minimalist, which is sort of me, really. Um, you know, everything white or very simple, or you can do be one of those people, you know, hodgepodge of everything, accumulated over the years, you know, a little, a little bauble here, something someone gave you there. Or, to make your Christmas complete, you could have a silver or gold sprayed twig wreath for $84.95, or if that's not enough, you can have an angel for the top of your tree at $44.95. And, better still, I'm not sure, <laughs> how about a gingerbread musical snow dome at £55? Is that something you eat? No, it's one of those shaky oh, things. Oh, one of those? <laughs> £55? <laughs> Very classy on the piece. Mm. Much better value is this Taste the Difference 12-year-old Pedro Jimenez. It's £7.99 for a 50 centimetre bottle. A fantastic price. Now, Pedro Jimenez is a very, very sweet wine. It's the sweetest sherry there is. And it's it's almost like Marmite. It rolls around the glass. Yeah. It rolls around your mouth. Look at that. Can you see that? Look at it. It's coating the glass. Like liquid caramel. Beautiful smell. It's prunes. Prunes and oh. syrup. It's raisins. Yeah. And actually, there's a little caramel note on that nose, too. Oh, and this is made delicious. from Pedro Jimenez grapes, they call it PX because Pedro Jimenez is a bit of a mouthful, um, which are left out in the sun to dry on the sort of straw mats for three weeks and then they're made into this, this gorgeous 12 year old. Yeah, look at the legs on this. Mm. Mm. so sweet. Yeah. Again the raisins and the... Prunes, it's like muscovado sugar, isn't it? Melted into prunes, as yeah. if you, they weren't sweet enough by themselves. Yeah. And, and malt. And you need to chill this, guys, okay? Chill mm -hmm. this. Yeah. And this is going to be perfect with your Christmas pudding, or even, even with mince pies, isn't it? Because it's, it's replicating loads of those flavours. I mean, it sort of tastes like Christmas pudding. It does, it? yeah. That is if you've got enough space. Our Christmas pudding is still in the fridge from last year. I got it from Highgrove in a, in a mad festive bit of um, shopping pre-Christmas and we just couldn't cram it in. Anyway, the date's good till March next year, so we're off. You're right, then. Yeah. Well, whatever you're cramming in this Christmas, we hope it's what you wanted. So, yeah. all that leaves us to say is I hope you enjoy some of these wines and have a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>